conference underway. something I have to apologize to everybody. I've been just a little remiss. Uh, a really big thank you to all of you guys in the press. Okay? The, this thing's a big deal and one of the many reasons is uh, because of the press that you guys give us, the coverage that you give us, uh, the pictures you take, that you send in, the uh, internet sites you run, you write for you, the papers and stuff. We do appreciate it. Okay? We want everybody to know we do appreciate it. We do notice it. And we, we are really sincere when we say that. So thank you to all of you guys. And I apologize for being remiss in not saying that in the previous two nights. Yeah, we've right. been talking thank about it last year. I know. I, 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 I got an email. I, I, got, I got an email this morning. I finally checked my email. All right. Darren Hagen, Tony Roney, and uh, Brad. Mosin. Sorry, you'll have I'm a dummy. That's right. Fire away, guys. Now you got to yeah. apologize to Brad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Send you an email. I'd like to uh, ask uh, Tony, uh, we just talked to you, and uh, you seem like you're at a loss for words. Are you uh, Are you sitting there in shock? You know, I am a little in shock, but I came into the night, and I said, man, look at this night. I said, 75 cars. It's the most cars of all the nights. I was driving, and I said, I said, i got to get a good starting spot. And I said, there's some heavy hitters here tonight. I mean, there's some good cars. And uh, I never expected to do this. I, my goal was to get in the C main, which you had to make the A to do that. And uh, at the end, uh, I was running fourth. I said, you know, I can try and get third if I play my cards right. And uh, good luck and it happened. It was awesome. Tony, you, you kept working the bottom. And then you kind of faded. You worked your way up. Then you went back a couple spots. And it looked like, uh-oh, you know, the bottom wasn't going to work out for you. And then everybody started checking up when Heinz got over the uh, – uh, the, the cushion down here in turn two and it log jammed everybody and you made it back up there So you kind of had yourself in position there by running on the bottom. Yeah, and another thing too I was holding on that steering wheel and I wasn't gonna let go to just the shocks yeah. and That yellow came out and I cranked on those shocks and got the car tightened up and uh, it was a lot better those last two laps It, it was really good John, I guess the obvious question you were moving forward. You did have Sammy in your sights I'm sure you'll take it with him getting caught up in that deal, but do you think you had it for him? I'm um, really I've been blessed um, from day one of my career, and uh, to be honest, I thought I was just going to be blessed to run third. So um, when I seen that, he must have had nowhere to go because a guy with that much talent and uh, that good a reaction time, I thought he had it wrapped up tonight, but uh, and we came through. Brad, can you take us through uh, your thought process when you saw Hines roll up over the cushion late? <laughs> oh, I, I knew he was getting tight, and um, <coughs> I had to actually loosen my car up on that yellow there, and um, you know. Running against those guys, you know, you, you just got to make every um, every leap you can past the guys, and you know, you're not going to give me any chances. So, you know, as soon as he got tight, just threw a slider, and uh, you know, he never went back by. So, um, you know, until Tony turned up, I was pretty happy with second, but you know, third's, third's good enough as well. So, maybe. Darren, what went through your heads? And you had a couple restarts, you knew Tracy Hines was right behind you. I think most of us were expecting the big slider. What, were you, what was going through your head on the racetrack? Um, I adjusted shocks a couple times. I um, don't think I did enough adjustment for the racetrack, but um, I don't know. I was looking at the crew guys. The crew guys said to go to the top. I knew the big slider was coming, so I thought, man, if, if you throw your fake sliders, act like you're sliding yourself, you can't throw a slider on you. So uh, I threw a couple fake sliders on myself, and then um, getting into three, I just figured if he was going to slide, getting into three, because I really didn't know who got to second. Um, I went to the top to try to sell the cushion, and uh, I was going to try diamond under him and do a big slider, but um, unbelievable. Uh, Tracy Hines, I can't believe uh, he fell back that far. He's a great race car driver, and uh, that whole Wil Wilkie Pack team is awesome, too. Were you expecting to get to the front that quick? It didn't take you long from uh, way back getting up front. Well, I told the guys after the qualifier, you know, uh, Bobby Barth and Greg Nelson um, wrenching on that thing, and I came after the qualifier and I said, you guys, that was my fault. Uh, I got schooled by Sammy. Sammy got to the top before I did. And I told him I won't, I won't waste any more time this time. But I was happy to get to third, and um, unbelievable. You got to keep yourself patient when you see a couple guys, especially Sammy. He's starting to pull away from you guys a little bit, even though he was coming up on that lap traffic. Do you figure, 
I'm going to have to get up there and race with these guys with these lappers because I really might not have enough for them if I have to pass them one on one. Yeah, definitely. With those guys that have that much talent, um, usually races are, are won by the least amount of mistakes, and you know those guys aren't going to make mistakes. So um, lap traffic helps, um, helps you get closer, um, helps them make mistakes, helps us make mistakes. But um, So I like lap traffic. It's helped me and it's hurt me. So. What do you think they were better than you a little bit, and what will you do to your car? I mean, to, to make it maybe a little bit quicker for those guys? Um, I think we'll change a right rear shock and maybe a wheel offset. Other than that, I think we'll have to chase racetracks to see what the racetrack's doing. But um, we kind of changed the shock right before the feature there, and I think we, we kind of might have went the right way or the wrong way. So, Brad, can you tell us about your developmental engine and uh, how it's so uh, proven itself this week with you and your teammate? Yeah, it's, it's been awesome. It's um, you know two and a half years of development with that with that motor, and um, you know obviously it's working well for um, yeah, the goal for you know, Michael yeah. running uh, second on the Tuesday night, and then us running third tonight. Um, it doesn't really matter what the track's like when it goes slick or if it's driving, there's just all the power you need and, and uh, you know those aggressive chassis get it all to the ground. So it's a good package all together and, and we're all proud because it's all made in New Zealand obviously. So um, you know, we'll, we'll take we'll load it all in there, get it out there Saturday night and try and, uh, try and win that big one. There's some people that complain about that motor a little bit. Do you kind of t tune that out? I mean, because your job's here to do the race, but there's some people that are not happy with having eight cylinders out there. Yeah, I mean, we expected that. And, you know, we've, we've tried our best to try and keep it under the radar, and I mean, as far as I know, it's you know, it's fine. You know, so I mean, as much as there's people complaining about it, there's a lot of people coming up and they're just just wrapped with what we're doing with the motor, and just really happy to see some cool, uh, you know, New Zealand innovation up here and and uh, doing well as well. So we're happy with that. Tony, as soon as the numbness goes away, what kind of a trump card are you thinking about playing Saturday? <laughs> Hey, uh, I wouldn't mind driving the number one pill and just walking away from it. <laughs> the car was so good in the eight qualifier, uh, the way they prepared the track, you know, for the start of that race. I, I really don't think anybody's got anything for me right there, but when it slicks off and these guys start running slides and running the cushion, I'm not real talented on the cushion, I'll be honest with you. I can run it, but I ain't passing Darren Hay. <laughs> uh, you know, anything can happen. You think you surprised yourself tonight, though, maybe? Uh, we've won a lot of races. This is by far the biggest race I've ever even come close to winning, and uh, this week's not over. We've got the A main on Saturday, and uh, if we get a good starting spot, we'll be okay. Cool. Last question, if you guys got it. If not, we'll move this table hopefully a little more carefully than we moved it.